Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our weekly angelic message, angelic check-in. If you are new here, please make sure that you are subscribed if you like the content and liking, sharing, that helps me out and supports me quite a bit. So please remember to do that. And I will also start off by saying we're gonna get you opened up to angelic energy, angelic messaging, but I do have a few things to just let you know because these are common questions. So let's just address it. So in the description box, I'm going to try to remember. I'm, go I'm gonna remember <laughs> to uh, post a video in there if I can, that explains how to get a service with me. So currently I am booking for the next two weeks out and it is filling up, okay? So if you wanna get in line or get your appointment, I get in line, I guess standard readings you get in line, but for these live one-on-one -on -one live readings, okay, via Zoom, so you have to be ready to use Zoom. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. But please do not email me until you go and look at that video. There's all the pricing there, how to do it. Be prepared to make the payment when you're coming in. You got to let me know how much time, time zone. Please pay attention to that, okay? So that we can get you scheduled because the longer that process goes on, the faster I get booked up. And then now I'm looking at maybe a two week I don't have to look again, but about a two week wait time. I can still fit some more in in the next two weeks and then it's done. Okay. And then we're looking at three weeks from now. So keep that in mind. There are a couple of offerings here. You can get a live one on one reading, an angelic reading with me, or you can get an angelic course. The courses are one hour long. There is Connect with Your Angels. There's also an angel mediumship course, a slightly different price point. So check out that video for more details on pricing. Uh, I was offering a Merkaba activation course, also reading Akashic Records. I'm gonna stop that because um, sadly, we're just not there. We're just not there. Okay, you know, so let's keep with, connect with your angels, or if you want to, let's say you have um, the presence of Mike, Michael or Gabriel around you quite a bit, you know, we can work, you can work with an angel medium to help you connect, okay? Those, again, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. That is how I'm doing that. If you want a standard reading, all the description for that is on my website, angelsouls444.com. You cannot purchase the reading without seeing the wait time, so please keep that in mind. As of the recording of this video, I am running ahead of schedule on those, but that could change in 20 minutes, okay? It just depends. So, Keep that in mind. <laughs> if you want to get your year overview, you want to see, um, you know, what messages are coming through that you might be missing, because a lot of people are missing it. They're missing it. They're missing it. They're missing it. But let me let you in on this. My face is tingly now. If you watch me for a while, not always. I think I just messed up my makeup too. Oh, great. Oh, well, if I have like <laughs> smeared makeup, so it is. Um, if you watch me for a while, I get the face tingles when I'm doing this kind of work. I don't know why is what it is. But I want to let you know, if you come and you get a reading with me, whether it is a live session or, you know, one of the standard readings, you can come with your surface level questions. That's fine. That's fine. But please be mindful of the lamenting. That's very 3D. And this will go into some of the message this week because we've got some clunky energy here and it's going to be uncomfortable. You'll want to stick around and hear me out here. Okay. If you come in and you are lamenting your fate and you know, the world is against me and all this stuff, you're already in a negative space. Now I'm still going to give you that reading, but we're going to go deeper into why you have that mindset. And if you're not willing to look at that, if you're not willing to work through it, you're one of the people who are going to be suffering, not just in the coming weeks and months, but in the coming years. This is where you start manifesting things that you don't want. It's a different time, different game. We're going to get into that. Hang tight, okay? <laughs> so there is that. Please also note, I have a podcast, the Angel Souls Podcast. I did it, y'all. I got my little microphone. I can't find my, my boom stand. I don't know. I have one and we'll get to it after I'm done today filming and editing and all that. I'll try to see if I can't find, but I have a podcast and we talk about really interesting things. The next podcast I'm about to record is why this sudden flood to spirituality and 
what might we be seeing and what might be people, might be people, what people might be, I'm okay, we're okay, we're gonna be fine. What people might be experiencing when they come in. So even if you've been a part of the spiritual community for decades, go over and listen to this podcast. Go over and listen to this podcast because it's affecting you too. It's affecting you too. When I, so I have this whole platform here, this Angel Souls platform. This is going into the message as an example. I came in, you know, having reconnected with these abilities. I, I always joke that I was that kid who could see dead people. Um, I, I had weird experiences that I, I didn't know were weird. <sighs> And boy, did I make sure I went into hiding, okay? <laughs> so when I came out and I started Angel Souls, you know, it was like a breath of fresh air. I was, you know, getting in touch. There was a lot of narcissists that came in. And you will always hear me use that term. Absolutely. And I'm talking like people who could be diagnosed. Now, I'm not a person to diagnose. I'm just letting you know, like, let's stop playing dumb, okay? Let's, and I'm, we don't do that here, okay? So I don't care if people don't like the word narcissist. Honestly, if you don't like the word narcissist, you probably are one. I'm not going to lie to you. You probably are a problem. And a lot of what we label narcissists or cluster B types have some measure of evil working through them. Did you hear what I just said? The people who don't have empathy have some degree of evil working through them. You need to be aware of this. Okay. Now I'm not talking about self-preservation Okay. I'm not talking about like, Hey, I, I'm trying to work on my self-esteem and I'm saying I'm great. Like an affirmation. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about people who will go to great lengths to cover their lies and then attack you when their lies are exposed. We're talking about people who genuinely don't care about anybody else. Um, everyone's an object for their gain. You see what I'm saying? They're, they're for their power plays and disgusting. Okay. But <laughs> listen, we're going to get into all of that right here. I want to, this is going to be an important thing here. Um, you know, I, I was saying about how a lot of narcissists came flooding in initially. What also happened, and this is where I want everyone to just stop and think. There was a whole lot of, oh, here's a chance for me to get another perspective on this thing I'm obsessed about. And I've, seen a lot of people go through a lot of growth and that's wonderful. You, you know, I'm not one of those, uh, spiritual practitioners that I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm very, like, I'm still very in touch with 3d. Okay. I'm not one of those ones that if you're ready to like level up and, you know, get into your light body. I mean, there are people who are way more qualified <laughs> to help you with that, but, um, I'm still here like gathering people uh, who, who are maybe on their way to exploring spirituality. And, and this is the way that you can get there, right? This is a great portal if you want to see it as such. So uh, what I'm still seeing after many years of doing this would be people doing this lamenting, uh, poor me, um, very egoic approach. That's going to be problematic. Like my nose during the recording of this. Hang on. I got to, now my makeup's really going to be great. Oh, I didn't, did I mention that this is just the first part of this message? The rest of it sort of uncensored are going to be over. There's a whole fresh video. It's going to be over on that other platform. Starts with an R. Look at the description box. Make sure you follow me over there. It's what Thunder does in the distance. And if you leave in the comments, everybody says the word, People who say the word are going to, they're going to see, I, again, I'm, I'm not new here. This is not my first rodeo. I know how this platform works. So you're going to have to figure it out. If you can't, maybe you weren't meant to hear it. There you go. Okay. So <laughs> back to what we we're talking about. I want to give you an example. Someone, because, because we're going to be running into this quite a bit where people are feeling all their pain come up to the surface. I, I just saw somebody um, on another platform bring that whole thing up with like you fill a jar with some objects and you pour water into it the water's the good stuff and all the bad stuff starts to float up to the top until it flops out but that's a painful process you know all this stuff so that's a good way of seeing it the more you fill up with the good stuff the bad stuff starts to float up until you can work on it handle it again it was a beautiful way of putting it 
But what we're seeing is uh, a lot of those people who have evil working through them, okay, trying to pose as good people. Here's what that might look like. Someone who's really hurting. I can't, I can't believe I haven't been heard. I, I have to say this, 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 and this has been going on. And this is the effect it's had on me. And I need someone to hear me. I'm ready. I'm ready to work on this, but I don't feel supported. That might be something, someone who really is, you know, at, at that breaking point, that's maybe how they might present. And it's unfortunate because I'm giving this example and people will, who are, have evil working through them, who we typically call narcissists, um, or cluster B types, they will mimic it. So a way that you can tell, at least thus far, without them honing their skills and doing it this other way, someone who says, I just can't believe everyone has abandoned me. Everyone is so cruel. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. Everyone just up and did, 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 did. everyone. Everyone. Now listen, if you're a scapegoat, a pure scapegoat, you know what it is to have everybody put their stuff on you. But I haven't heard too many scapegoats present it in this sort of victimhood way. They usually come with facts. And I always say the truth is immediate. So this is another way you can tell if someone's lying. If they're coming and making some sort of accusation and you ask for examples and they have none, they're lying. They need time to go off and formulate their story to come back and combat you. Okay. So the truth is immediate. Again, if you're a scapegoat, if you've been the center of a lot of toxicity, like people have aimed that at you, you're going to have immediate examples of no, when you have done this, this, and this, and I'm not talking about going back 20 years or something like that. I'm talking about like, this is the pattern. They know the pattern. They live the pattern that is different than someone trying to get attention and getting people to fawn all over them. Look up covert narcissism. It's terrifying. Okay. It is terrifying. Why am I telling you this? Well, first of all, we know that I am very big on talking about this and I won't stop until we figure it out. Uh, That's just how that's going to go. And I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. If you're bothered by the word narcissist, you probably are one. You probably are one or you're some cluster B persuasion. And the sad part is, is that even a lot of therapists don't understand that. A lot of therapists can end up being cluster Bs themselves. They'll be the ones in therapy telling you that you don't know what you're talking about. You're making too much of it, rolling their eyes. I I just recently had a a therapist who I no longer see uh, would gaslight me throughout my entire, all my sessions, just gaslighting me. And she literally rolled her eyes one time because I said I was dating this guy and he, he had like, like a lot of, like, I think he was a full blown narcissist. And she went, watch out for that. Why am I telling you all this? Because if you don't start paying attention to this, you might say, we well, say this every week. Well, why do I still have to say it every week? Are we changing it? I don't know. It's messy, right? You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, hey, uh, like, what do we do about it? <laughs> well, I think, I don't know. I think we start with the awareness, right? And the reminder every week. And here's why I'm setting this up. Because people are already coming out and number one, seeing through this nonsense. But two, we're not, we're not falling for the old narratives. Narrative has come out that if you grow your own food, You're basically ruining the planet because it's putting more whatever, whatever, whatever into the atmosphere than if you just leave it (laughs) to big farms. I don't know. Something like that. Um, We see a lot of people fighting back when it comes to, let's just say, certain military things. Again, I'm very censored here on this platform. Check me out on the other one. I can speak more freely there. But there's that. Here in the United States, people are doing their taxes. They're already realizing they're not getting much of a return. And then of course you see the accountants and CPAs coming out saying it's because you didn't fill out your forms correctly. I doubt that. I doubt that highly. People are not stupid. People are not stupid. So as time goes on, we're going to see people really communicating how they feel. And this can be good and bad. Good because those evil types are going to get more and more, they're going to get easier and easier to spot. 
I'm going to get easier to spot. I, I'm very happy <laughs> that in the past couple of weeks, there have been some comments where people are lamenting, trying to get people to fawn all over them and no one fell for it. Good job. I didn't take those down. Those are there. Go see if you can pick them out. Okay. I left them there as a good example. Conversely, when someone actually is calling out saying, Hey, I could, I could use some support. People are jumping in and having some kind words. So also good job. But do you know the difference? Do you know the difference? Various platforms will help you practice this. YouTube's a good one to start with. Facebook is even better. <laughs> Facebook is even better. You know the classic, send prayers up for me, but don't ask me what's going on. It's none of your business. It's a private matter. Well, then keep it private and keep it off Facebook. Oh, I said, I said it. Oh no, I said the platform. I don't think you get hit as hard saying that one than other ones. But at any rate, if we're going to have our breakthroughs, you got to know what you're looking at. You got to know what you're looking at. So we have Gabriel in here. Uriel has been in here. This is all about uh, restoring our sense of self, you know, allowing some of our emotional body to be healed and to let communication come out in, in a proper way, right? So, well, we're not, communication, you know, in my mind, it's not just, you know, speaking, it's receiving, it's listening, because you, how are you going to speak to something if you're not listening to the other side of it, right? So again, watch the tricky narratives out there. There's a whole lot of, you know, there's a current conflict that when people came and said, oh my gosh, these poor people. <laughs> right. Uh, where you been? And what are you really doing about it besides wearing certain pieces of clothing and putting a certain little emoji? What are you doing? You showing up and looking like a good person? Because here's the gig, honey. Check out what's going on all over Africa. Okay. All over Africa and other places in the Middle East. Again, I have to be careful here. You know, there are people still living in tents. There are children still out there who need help. You feel me? And besides, I've already come out with my stance on that. If you really think this is about choosing sides, you're pretty far gone. Oh my God, Michelle, I can't say you're so self-righteous. That's okay. You, you think whatever you need to think. I'm going to put it out there for the people who can hear me. If you're really choosing sides, you've lost the battle. You have no idea what's going on. This is such a manipulation. And yes, there truly are people suffering. And yes, those people need our help 100%. But where have you been when this has happened to other groups of people? It just wasn't as popular to do that. Go ahead and leave your comments. I think it's the full moon. I'm in a mood, okay? It happens sometimes. I don't know. Maybe my PMDD is acting up. I swear to God, if you say it's perimenopause, maybe for you, uh, it's coming. <laughs> it's at the door for sure. But, but, but calm down. Okay. <laughs> calm down. But you know, I, I have such a problem with that. I, I don't like the fake activism and you sneeze wrong. And I'm going to call that out. Not to be mean, not to be mean and not to like stir up any controversy. It's not what I want. I want us to wake up. Then I'm not awakened to everything. But I got a few years under my belt. I got something to contribute here. And I think my line of work helps with that. You don't even know what you're yelling for. And this is part of it. Okay. So what we're seeing, it's not about tr like being paranoid. I don't want you to be paranoid or neurotic and you know, trying to find something wrong, trying to make up something. It's seeing the truth. So this week, this week, take everything that I've said here into consideration. When you meditate, when, and I, I know you're meditating. 
Are you not meditating? I can't meditate. If I can meditate, you can meditate. I'm a freaking magpie, okay? Like anything sparkly and I'm like, I can't focus on anything, okay? <laughs> so if I can do it, you can do it. Don't give me no excuses. It's closing your eyes and breathing to begin, okay? That's all you got to do. That's it. Feel me? Okay. So when you meditate, okay, <laughs> bring in your guardian angels and ask them to show you the truth of your heart. Now that sounds like a spiritual bumper sticker. I've already messed up my makeup, something fierce. Oh, well, a little hatchet face over here. That's fine. <laughs> like, the truth of your heart. And you might not see something that you thought would be there. Conversely, you might realize, oh my gosh, I do carry a lot of hatred in my heart. And that's my problem with these conflicts. Where there needs to be love, you have hatred. No, I, I love the people. But do you? Because you see a clear enemy, don't you? You think you do. And that's not the enemy. No, there's something else. Something that sort of lords over the whole situation. That's the enemy. And the people are the puppets. Now, that's not letting anybody off the hook. Evil person's an evil person, okay? Evil organizations are evil organizations, I'm not in that directly, so I can't speak completely to it. But just spiritually speaking, that's what I pick up about all of that. And there will be more and more things to come. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sit here and, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of this, this, and this. If you want to come in and you say, if you want to work with me and you say, Michelle, I just got to get this off my chest first. It's Okay. That's cool. That's how we, you know, get that initial layer <laughs> done. And then we go a little bit deeper. So if you need to come in and complain about taxes for a minute or complain about annoying, backstabbing coworkers, all well and good. But I swear, if that's where you stay, I mean, there's nothing I'm going to do about it, but like, just, just don't be that person. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Just put some work into it. Um, I'm doing it too. I guess maybe that's it. I just want company. <laughs> I don't know. But I, in all, in all seriousness, we are coming into times that we have no context for none. Okay. Yes. There will be points of history that start to repeat themselves. Um, Think rebellion, think that's a 180, um, didn't see that coming. <laughs> like, I don't know. And I'm laughing uncomfortably because it's, it's this kind of feeling of you think you know it, but you don't. And if you try to plan right now, there will be shakeups, especially, I'm going to let you know, especially around the housing market. So if you are involved in that, get yourself prepared. I've said this before. I'll say it again. 2008, who? Okay, that's what we're looking at here. And I don't know if it's going to, it's not going to happen this week, but you know, just be ready. There's a lot of that coming. And again, you know, when you're meditating, I'm saying meditating with your guardian angels. If you want to bring in Gabriel, Uriel, whoever you want to bring in, listen to the truth of your heart. Because if you are not honest with yourself, if you're not admitting where you have prejudice, where you are hateful, where you are biased, then you're just sort of this, I'm going to put it this way and I don't mean it this way, but I don't have any better words. You're sort of this dirty energy <laughs> um, walking around. We all get muddied up from time to time. There are things, just 3D things that have popped up for me recently. And I'm like, this is so annoying. Oh my gosh, we're on taxes, speaking of taxes. And I go to a CPA and I'm like, hey, this thing, how do I do? Oh, our office doesn't handle that. So glad I paid you. That That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so I'm in the middle of that. So yes, there can be times where something really irks us and we're just, you know, you, you if you follow me on this channel, you know I get into a mood uh, every once in a while. Again, check, check what I had to say about that earlier in the video, okay? But <laughs> these are going to be things where we're just not taking it anymore and it's going to start with you having to address where your stances are and can here's a practice can you look at the other side 
of the story without getting sucked into it. Remember, we're in a duality consciousness mind and our ego consciousness is going to constantly be trying to protect us by making sure you're landing on the right side of history or making sure that you're with the, you know, again, the right side, whatever, um, and with the right opinion, <sighs> try to, try to, I'm not telling you to sympathize with like evil. I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not saying that, but just if it's a simpler topic, if you have someone, let's say you don't get along with your boss and you have your immediate reaction. Can you take a beat and ask yourself, where might my boss be coming from? If you can't do that, you're in trouble. Now, if you have the type of boss where you immediately know where they're coming from and it's an evil space, well, okay, well then you've got your answer and you know how you need to adjust to protect yourself, to carry forward, you know, that sort of thing. So this is a big topic. I'm going to let this video be here. We're going to end it here. I'm going to pick this up, have the rest of it over at that other platform. And I'm going to do the podcast as well. So make sure you're checking all of that out. Please remember, if you want me to do this kind of work and be able to sustain myself, liking, sharing, uh, subscribing helps out a ton services. If you want to get a service, you can support me in that way, but also looking at these other platforms as well. I thank you so much for being here. I thank you for sort of stumbling along with me. I know that I'm not the most articulate because it's hard to articulate. It's hard to um, communicate, which is what we're supposed to be working on here, taking these big energies and trying to put them into words. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. So again, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging in there as long as you have. As always, I am sending you so much love and take care.